do you feel, Roxanne? So this is one of the fields we've you guys have seen numerous times. It's really just taken off in the last year or so. Welcome to my crazy life as a first generation female farmer. The Chronicles of Kayla. Good morning. Happy Monday. It is sunny, but very cold. It's like a whole 24 this morning. I'm buzzing over. I walk through the herd real quick, check on the little boy. Lucky, Jay said last night he did not eat very well. He only wanted to take one bottle instead of two. So I guess I'll go deal with that this morning and see what's going on with him. Then I have to run and pick Keaton up and then come back and then I'm not sure what the day holds. Jason's delivering hay today. He's got several hay loads going out this week. I have a follow-up appointment with my surgeon and doctor and team. So that's Wednesday. We also have a full week of practice for both kids now. And uh, yeah, all the things that go around with being uh, a wife and a mom and uh, trying to farm on the side. So here's hoping that Wednesday we have um, another good report and that they finally release me. Um, she didn't end up releasing me at my um, six or eight week appointment. I can't even remember what when we went, but uh, she wanted me to keep resting and keep taking it easy and I've been trying. I do have one trying to calf, so we're gonna go check on her real quick and we'll go feed Lucky Bear and then we'll come back and see if she needs any help. Just to make sure. Good morning, kids. How's everybody doing? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely in labor. That's 63, she's been known to give me twins. Yeah, are you doing okay? Do you need some assistance? Do you want me to go feed and come back? Okay, I'll, I'll do that. I'll go feed and I'll come back to you, okay? You see what you can get done on your own. I saw feet. I'll be back. So Jason just pulled in with the semi, so he's actually gonna go out there and just look at 63 um, while I go back here. He's loading some hay out, so he's got just a little bit more time frame than I do. So he's gonna go check her um, a little bit more thoroughly. She's been a good, good little herd mama, so she should be okay. She, she raised twins um, two years ago and did great, so hoping that she does okay at the moment. So, like I said, I didn't walk out there. Uh, he's, he was right behind me, so he's gonna go over there while I come back here. How do you feel, Roxanne? Hmm? Not, not with it this morning either? You slept all night? Did you play outside too hard yesterday? No comment? Okay. Well, he's up, so that's a good sign. Hi, honey. Hi. Come here. Come on. Come on. Turn your booty around. Come on. Turn your butt around. You don't want it? There you go. Jason's been loading and watching. He said the calf is out. Oh, it is. It's definitely out. Oh, there's mama. Dropped it. We'll let mama do her thing. So the sack is around her. It's around the, around the baby. That's the little um, slickness you see. Mama will lick it and eat it and get her cleaned up. I'm assuming it's girl. It could be a boy. I'm not walking over there to disturb them. Um, I just love watching them. The maternal instincts, you know, it just, it's just so fun to watch. And then you get to watch all these, you know, they're herd animals, okay, right? So all the other moms come over and be like, oh, good job, let me see your baby. Let me just help you out there a minute. I'll be glad. Except for 140, she thinks she needs to have a snack maybe. But all the moms come over and be like, congratulations. And 
I just love that so much. Uh, that's just their herd instincts to come over and see what you popped out. Happy Monday afternoon, everyone. Um, it's beautiful, however, it is cold. It's only a lovely 30 some degrees this morning in Missouri. So we are taking every opportunity of sunshine that we can. I'm, I'm out running the aerator this morning. Cutting it a little short there, Kayla. So this is one of the fields we've, you guys have seen numerous times. If you watched the channel all last summer, you kind of seen, um, and even the year before, this is a field that has really just taken off in the last year or so. It actually got double fertilized uh, by mistake last year. So it's really taking off. So we are aerating. Um, we are trying to get as much aerated as we can before Jason brings over the lime and then I'll follow up and bring over um, fertilizer here in another couple of weeks. It's still just a little bit early to be putting on fertilizer for us, for our area and how Jason wants to do it. Um, I am not running the aerator sunk deep. It's still a little tacky from the rain that we got last week. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so we're not going full tilt all the way to the ground because we don't want to tear up the ground and we don't want to mud it up. Well, it's really cute. The 6120M, and uh, I have the Salford Airway attached to uh, this tractor. Today, we are working on one of my favorite little grass patches here. It's about, I think, six, maybe eight acres. If I, maybe, I'm not sure if I don't, I really don't know. Um, I don't have obviously um, all the, the maps sitting in front of me because I'm just, just breaking up compaction and getting ready for Jason to bring over lime, and then I'll bring over the fertilizer here in a few more weeks. I hope you guys liked today's video. tractor about six not quite five and a half six miles per hour this morning 
it is still just a little bit tacky so we're not running all the way down um it's about my four inches or my four inches that sounds really wrong <laughs> my four fingers down uh, that sounds even worse kayla so it's about that deep down into the ground uh, we are trying to break up the compaction that is the whole point between behind an aerator uh Keaton is actually going to be coming over and we are swapping out. I got some other stuff I need to work on. Uh, last couple weeks, this is what we've been doing. It's just aerating, liming, preparing for hay season. The frost is actually coming out of the ground a little bit too. It's making it a little bit more sticky, but we are trying to utilize all the days that we can. sweetheart thank you thank you what'd you pack me today banana peanut, a butter. Banana peanut butter you're such a good kid all right well now that you're here i guess i'll get out you can work and i will go to the next thing um when you're done here you need to call one of us because i'm not real sure where he wants us to go from here the frost is starting to come out of the ground a little bit uh so it's getting a little tacky so you may not be able to drop it all the way down so you'll just have to really watch that Okay, I'm leaving him in the field. Yes, it's Monday. We are a four day school for the record. Um, so I'm gonna leave him to work over there and I'm uh, gonna go buzz back and do some other projects. So this is the little, what are you? Heifer, little heifer baby, a little heifer doll. Um, that was born this morning and mom is over there so we are gonna kind of shove her back across the fence go come on go 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 come on well go come on oh my goodness go walk okay i'm gonna have to get off here i can't push and shove at the 